In this video, we will start with the laws of logarithms. You will find this on page 400 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. The laws of logarithms, and this is also a recap from ordinary level. We will now revise the laws of logarithms, which we learned in ordinary level mathematics. If X and Y are both positive, okay, they're referring to that, and A, that base, is bigger than 1, but it cannot be 1. Okay, then the following laws of logarithms can be used. So there is the rules. So, um, if I look at the first one, if, if there's one, there's the base, and that too is multiplied, but just take note, it's just a technical thing. There is only one log word. I can break it up into the x is having a log, a log and the y is having a log, and I put a positive in between. So, but with the multiply, it was one word, and with the addition, it was two separate words. Something, but don't don't confuse. I'll show you later on what you must not con get confused with. Okay, that's the product law. The quotient law is now divide. So again, with the division, there's only one log word. But when I go into the subtraction, it's everyone is having his own log word, as you can say it. And then the power law, and we were referring in the previous a lot to this power law, is where we said if that was the same and we bring that in front, because that's what's happening. That exponent there goes to the front. Okay, and then it's like this. Okay, let's look at a few examples. A little bit bigger. Okay, so let's look at the proofs of this laws. Now let's start with the product law. Now I can write it like this, just like it stands there. Then I can take this x, y, and I break it up according to the previous page, the rule. So I see, say a log a, that is the same, x, multiply a log a, y. Okay, so I'm breaking it up. I'm, I'm basically... Um, I'm, I'm making use of this. Can I just make it bigger that you see better? I'm making use of this property. Okay. So basically, then think of exponents. Um, if it's in exponents and it's more, and the bases are the same, I take one base and I add the exponents, and that's what's happening there. And now I have again that same log a, a. So basically, that is going to the front, and I'm end up with this. The same here. I break this up into that rule a log a, a log x with a base of a, a to the log to the power log y with a base of a. So I'm breaking it up just like I did there. Then I think of exponents because it's coming from the exponents, this laws. Um, then if it's division, I can subtract the exponents. And then that and then that just come in front and there's your answer. Okay, so let's look at the power law. If you have this log a x n exactly like that, then you break this one also up as a log a x. Okay, do you see there? And there's the n. Now what happens to that n? That n goes in front of that log. Do you see there? Then I'm ending up with this, and this becomes actually the one, and all, and this just moved to the front. And that's how I get. That's the proofs. Not necessary that you learn it. It's just showing you it's coming from exponents and how did, did they derive at that laws. Now, let's move up. Using the power law. Okay, so note. So, so if it's log 1 over x with a base of a, now that x can go up, then it's x to the power negative 1. Then that negative 1 goes in front, okay? And that is the example. Do you see? So basically, this is if this one is five and it becomes there. Okay, in front. So just as when you are dealing with exponents, the laws above only work if the bases are the same. For example, the expression log a x plus log b y can not be simplified. Why? Because that base is a a and that base is a b. Because the base a and b are not the same. Just as a squared times b to the power 3 cannot be simplified because the bases are not the same. And then this is very important. When, can, when it's correct, when it's not correct. Now, if you look at this one, um, this is correct. If there's something in front of the log word, 
Then you can say, I multiply, get this, I multiply, get, that's correct. But if you get it behind, do you see, there's behind, this is not correct. It must be in front of the log word. Okay, the same here. This one is log A plus log B. So, with the multiply one log word, with the addition two logs word. But, this is not equal to log A multiply log B. No, no. With the multiply, only one log word. The same here. This is equal to log A minus log B, one with the division one log word, with the subtraction two log words. But it's not equal to log A log B, where, where the division take two log words, as you can say. And then this one, this is correct, it goes to the front. But if, if this one is standing, if there's a big bracket, it, it, that one must just be standing with the A. If it's standing there with the whole word, this is not correct. So please... Make sure that you don't make that unnecessary mistakes. Okay. We're going to first look at, this is the first one. Okay, let's start. Expand or separate logarithms. Now this is actually just to help you to learn the rules and to apply the rules. So to expand means to write a single log term as two or more single log terms using the logarithmic laws. In other words, given one log with a complicated argument, you can you have to convert this to many logs, each with a simple argument. Okay. So it's just getting you used to the laws. So use the laws of logarithms to expand the expression. Okay, remember the base is two. There is two, there is two. Now first we will address the division. So we will put a subtraction. Okay, don't do too many things at a time. Okay, that's the rule. Then we will address the multiplication between 8 and a squared. So we will put an addition there. That one just rewrite. And then we go for the power law, which we are bringing that to the front. Okay, and that's how I separate it. So there was one term, and now it's one, two, three terms, but meaning exactly the same. The same with this one. Okay, I take it out of the root and I make it a third. Okay, now this third go for the x and 2 multiply a third is 2 thirds. Okay, and then I go for my subtraction with the two log words and then I just take the power law and I just bring it to the front, bring it and that is. So use the final step, you use the power law. Okay, this is just practicing the rules. Um, I'm going to give for you, let's just see. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one. Um, this is a very easy one, but let's keep first to the easy. Um, and B. And, okay, H. And then express the, each of the following as separate. So let's just see if I can give you still one here. Okay, I, I actually like, I'm not going to give you in two, I think I'm going to just give you I. Okay, that's enough practice. If you can do that, then you will be able to do two also. Okay, let's start. Number one A. So it's going to be log 2AB. So now this multiply and multiply. So that's very easy. It's just going to be the base is 10 if there stands nothing. Then I don't have to write any base. So it's log 2 plus log A plus log B. And that's all. Okay. Then I'm going to look at number B. Uh, this is now a division. First do the big thing, the division, before you come to the multiply. So it's going to be log 5 minus log xy. And now you can see if you can simplify further. So this is going to be log 5 minus, oh sorry, let's just get log x plus log, okay, can I just put this in a bracket first? So it's log x plus log y. And if I simplify this, it's going to be log 5 minus log x and that negative multiply in, so log y. So please don't forget that bracket. It is still this, but this negative must come into that. 
brackets. Okay, and now I'm going to do number H. That's a root. Okay, always take it first out of the root. That will be your first step. So I'm going to say it's log, then it's x, y over z, and it's to a half. Okay. And now that half goes in, goes in, goes in. So it's going to be log, x to a half, y to a half, z to a half. Now I can, I can first break up the division. So I'm first going to say log x a half, y a half, and then subtract another word of log, get the pen correct, subtract log z a half. I can put a bracket, but because there's a positive in front, it will not influence it, right? And then, now I can go for the addition, so it's x a half plus log y a half minus log 2 a half. And now I go for my finals, bringing the power law, bringing that all down. So it's a half log x plus half log y minus half log z. That's how you do it. And I'm going to go for the final one. I'm going to just make space. Okay, uh, don't let me catch you out on this one. This is why I gave it to you. So number I, so it's going to be log x minus 3 and 3x plus y squared. Okay, let's first address this multiply. So I'm going to have log x minus 3 plus log 3x plus 5 squared. That is going to be log x minus 3. Bring that power law, bring the 2 down, so 2 log. And remember, you cannot multiply, not say log x minus log 3. No, no, no. That's what I showed you in the previous. Can I even go back there? I showed it to you there. You cannot. This is incorrect. Okay. Only if it was standing in front. But it's standing at the back. Right. So, that's how you will do the Try number two. It's not really so difficult. Um, just take it step by step and don't do too many things in one step.